Greetings, friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. This is a lesson on improvisation. All right, so if you are a three-string cigar box guitarist, then improvisation should be your middle name. All right, so anyhow, I'm going to divide this lesson up into two halves. The first half is going to be lecture. Boring. And then the second half, I'm going to do some examples of improvising. So, um, so improvising. I break it down into like three different like steps. The first step is if you're going to improvise, you need to be like at a disadvantage. Put yourself somehow at a disadvantage because that's how you improvise best is when you have to, right? So whether it's a different tuning, a different instrument, different strings, a different sound, a different musical genre that you're not comfortable with, whatever the case is, a different tempo, fill in the blank. You got to put yourself at, a, at an advantage. And in fact, if you put yourself at an extreme disadvantage, then you really have to struggle and you will be improvising, trust me. So put yourself in a situation where you're forced to have, have to improvise. The second thing, what I like to do is do tricks. Okay, what do you mean by tricks? Magic tricks? Um, things that are tricky, I guess. And again, you know, there's there's plenty, plenty of examples, but um, some trick, you got to engage and employ some trick. In addition to tricky stuff, have stuff that's like thematic. Like it could be happy. It could be sad. It could have like a, a rhythm to it. It could have a, a harmony to it. A beat, a certain beat, or whatever. It's got to be some thematic type of thing, like surf or rockabilly or something. You know, that's something that's got like a, a an idea already embedded in into it. Okay, and finally, is you need to practice improvising. And what I mean by practice improvising is practice improvising. And when you're practicing improvising, you're Practicing improvising. <laughs> See how simple it is? It's like we're going to improvise on how to improvise on how to improvise and how to improvise. So you have to improvise. And so what better way to teach about improvisation than to demonstrate improvisation? Okay, so that leads me to the second half of the video, which is not the lecture part. The lecture part's over. Now I'm going to like try to be an example of how to improvise and I'm just going to improvise. All right, so if I make a mistake, that's okay. Why? Because I'm gonna make mistakes. That's guaranteed, right? And so I'm gonna like find some of those mistakes that are cool, right? And throw them into the imp improvisation or take advantage of them somehow. Okay, so uh, my set of disadvantages are, this is a short scale neck. I'm used to a 25 inch or a 24 inch or even a 23 inch. This is a 19 inch scale neck. So it's, it's um, a lot smaller than what I'm used to. And these are also the skinny strings. I'm used to the thick strings. These are the, the skinny strings. This is the 30, the 22, and the 14. I'm still tuned EBE, so all my chords in my mind are still the same. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, this one here has the, the spring reverb on the inside. So I wanna take advantage of that in this improv. In other words, I wanna play some music that's going to uh, take advantage of the fact that this is uh, an acoustic with some reverb. Okay, so now I needed to just like Pick a trick or pick a theme, right, or, or a vibe or a, or a feel and, or a rhythm, whatever the case is, right? And um, in this case here, I'm just going to take advantage of the major scale, and I'm going to play major thirds, ascending and descending, and uh, try to uh, have some sort of structure with some, maybe some sort of a turnaround, like a, um, some, you, you'll hear the chord turnaround. So anyhow, so uh, I'm just going to improvise. Okay, so I am tuned E, B, E. And what I mean by tuned, the most important thing is that this saddle is in the exact right spot so that the harmonics line up perfectly at the 12th fret. That's what I mean in tune. I don't mean just in tune up here and in tune with your tuner or whatever like that, but, it, but in tune so that all these chords way up here sound right. If these chords up here don't sound right, uh, nothing's going to sound right. So you got to mess with this thing here to get it exactly right so that these chords sound right. All right, so here we go. We're going to improvise. I don't even know where to start. Yeah, where do you, how do you start? You just jump right in, just like swimming.
A little while ago, I had this idea in my mind on how I was gonna combine these notes here, the I'm gonna combine those with these notes going down on the top here. So this is another little thing of improvising, right? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the first chord, which is this guy. I'm gonna combine this note open on this string with this finger here, so it's this note. And then this note's gonna come up one, this one's gonna go down one. This one's gonna come up one, this one's gonna go down one. Gonna go up one and down one. And then finally up one and down one. Right, so these are a bunch of weird chords, right? So, but they all fit together, watch, here goes. So I'm just, again, I just force myself into this little box, this little equation, right? And then force it to make it fit. That's it. All right, so that's some examples, dumb examples I know of how to improvise, right? I mean, you could imp improvise in blues, just get on the blues scale and just rip it off on that. You could improvise on um, playing sad, sad chords and um, just melodies or whatever. So much fun. Um, you can actually get really good at improvisation where it's like your main thing. In other words, that's all you do is improvise. And um, that can be a downfall because you gotta learn some songs and stuff like that. And that's, that's kind of one of the problems if you improvise everything, man, it's like you can never play the same thing twice. And sometimes that's a hassle. And finally, I leave you with a little flying by the seat of your pants. Okay, so now what? Exactly, you need to go improvise. All right, I'll let you in on one of my secrets. One of the things I like to do, right, is to take my tuner that is on my phone, right, I just set up the tuner, and then I'll just set the tuner there on the ground. 
right? And then I'll, I'll especially in a band situation, right? When you're just like jamming with a band or do, or whatever the case is, and you don't you don't know what what song they're playing, you, but at least if you have your tuner turned on, and you li just look at your tuner while they're playing a chord, right? It'll tell you what chord it is, and so that typically that's the the chord you know, and so. If you follow the tuner, you know that's a that's a that, that's a hack. That's what that is.